Well, a dispute over campaign signs in Macon Bibb County is causing some candidates to voice their frustrations over their signs being taken down. It's happening now as early voting gets underway across Georgia. 41 NBC's Fiona King has more. And I'm blowing the whistle. That's who I am, Desmond Brown, the whistleblower. Incumbent for District 2 of the Macon Water Authority Board, Desmond Brown, is also expressing his frustration, saying he believes the ability for candidates to place their signs freely has changed. He says the current administration is overstepping its boundaries by enforcing a rule at the new Board of Elections office at the Macon Mall that he says wasn't in place before. As soon as you walk through the Macon Mall doors, you'll see this sign, which is also the Georgia Code. It reads, no campaigning by anyone, including candidates, within 150 feet of the outer ridge of any building within which a polling place is established. The Macon Mall is now indeed a polling location. Macon Bid mayoral candidate Shakita Maxwell and Brown claim their signs outside the Macon Mall are being removed unlawfully, both calling it an unfair practice. We don't have super funds. We have family and constituents who have donated to us to get signage. We don't have deep pockets. So when you take up our signs, you take up a piece of them and their hard work and earnings. Their signs check off the Georgia code box that they are 150 feet away. But at least in this case, a property's owner decisions trumps the Georgia code. The Macon Mall is owned by Urban Development Authority and the Hall Property Group, and they have decided to not allow any campaign signage on the property. Mayor or candidate Shakita Maxwell says a move like this is an unfair practice. If whole company does not want campaigning here or for us to place our signs, then the Board of Election needs to move out this building altogether because that is disenfranchisement. Brown said he was given permission from the Board of Elections in the Macon Mall to originally place his signs outside, but the mall owners, Urban Development Authority and Hall Property Group overruled the Board of Elections. Chris Floor, the Chief Communications Officer at Macon Bibb Government, released a statement saying, It is a violation of city code, therefore illegal, to put any signs along the public right-of-way. We have for several years conducted focus cleanups of any signs littering our right-of-way and creating a potential safety issue. Any signs on private property should have approval of the property owner, and no campaign signs have been approved for placement on Macon Mall property. In Macon, Fiona King, 41, NBC News.